I told us concerning the spiritual work that is going on in the body of Christ today. Spiritual work that is going on in different churches is a deception in the highest way. It's, a, it's, a, it's a another way of distraction that Satan has decided to distract the whole church because the devil don't want any church to make heaven. That Satan don't want anybody to serve true living God. So he decided to come up with another word called spiritual work. As I told us that is not result you use to judge the authenticity. You cannot use the result to judge whether it is from God or not. If you use the result, you will make mistake. Because these three heavens, first heaven, second heaven, and third heaven where God dwells, the whole beings, the whole demon that occupy the heaven, the heavenly realms, all of them can manifest material things. They can bring results. They can give us results in every area of our life. But one thing they cannot do is that they cannot save our soul. They cannot prepare eternity for us. They cannot see us through after death. They cannot give us eternal life. Or they can give us cars. They can give us material things. They can make us to marry. They can make us to have money in abundance. They can help us in making investment, investing here and there. But they cannot give us eternal life. Touch the subscribe button or click the follow button so that you'll be receiving all my updates and don't forget to share this message share this video let us join hands together to save as much as we can before the lord returns if you are a child of god it is our responsibility to share this message so that other people will hear it god bless you as you do so i want to talk about the realm of god now the three forces that control the realm of god as I told us that is not result you use to judge the authenticity. You cannot use result to judge whether it is from God or not. If you use result, you will make mistake. Because these three heavens, first heaven, second heaven, and third heaven where God dwells, the whole beings, the whole demon that occupy the heaven, the heavenly realms, all of them can manifest material things. They can bring results. They can give us results in every area of our life. But one thing they cannot do is that they cannot save our soul. They cannot prepare eternity for us. They cannot see us through after death. They cannot give us eternal life. Or they can give us cars. They can give us material things. They can make us to marry. They can make us to have money in abundance. They can help us in making investment, investing here and there. But they cannot give us eternal life. That is the only thing that they cannot provide. And that was the reason why the disciples followed Jesus. As I said, to, as I said it in one of my videos, that Peter said to Jesus, To whom shall we run to? For you are the one that have the word of eternal life. So that eternal life we are talking about. So today we are looking at the three forces that control the realm of God. Number one force is the word of God number two is the name of jesus the name of jesus is number two and number three is the blood of jesus only these three forces control the realm of god only these three forces control the realm of god the word of god the bible say in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and all things we are created by the word and we remember that in the book of Genesis, Bible said in Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning God created heaven and earth. And the Bible went down to tell us and said that the earth was void and without form. The Spirit of God was moving upon the surface of the water. And the Bible said, and the Lord said, that is the word of God, let there be light. The word that the Lord spoke brought forth what the Lord said. So that is the realm, in the realm of God, in the heavenly realm, where God dwells. The word of God, that is the scripture, the, the word of God that is written in the, in the book called Bible, has power in the realm of God, in the realm of God, the word of God. Number two is the name of Jesus. The Bible makes us to understand there is no any other name given to any man or anything in heaven on, on earth or under the earth through which we shall be saved. 
except the name of the Lord. And the Bible said that whosoever that shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Bible also makes us to understand that at the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the name of Jesus is the only second force that has power in the realm of God. If it is truly that we need a result from God Almighty, we will go to God, we will hold on to the word of God, and the number two, to pray in the name of Jesus. Then number three is the blood of Jesus. The Bible makes us to understand that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel was crying for vengeance. Why the blood of Jesus was asking for forgiveness? The blood of Jesus. So, as I was saying, the word of God is the number one force that controls the realm of God. Because what we are seeing these days in the body of Christ is totally mess. We are seeing a lot of things that are going on in the church these days. We are seeing a lot of people praying with native thoughts. We are seeing a lot of people going to river for prayers. Sometimes they say that they need so-so-so miracle and they need so-so-so deliverance. Someone in the name of prophet or in the name of pastor will take them to river, take the, someone to river and they will go there in order to go and pray in the river. And a sister was telling me that a prophet took them to a river and when they went there, they were grouped into two because male and female went together. So male, male we are grouped one side, female, we are grouped one side and all of them were naked. They enter into the river and begin to take their bed and begin to pray, begin to command blessing they need in the river. I don't know the kind of miracle. I don't know the spirit that we, that, that we give them that miracle. But definitely I know that it's not Almighty God. Sometimes we see a lot of people, they say, oh, in the midnight, go to a tea junction. Uh, when you go there, carry candle, put there, stand there and pray. Sometimes some, a lot of things. Sometimes they'll say, oh, carry native, native egg. Use it, rub all over your body. After break it on your head, you will get deliverance. But Jesus did not do like that. So wherever you go to any ministry, or you go to any preacher, or you go to any pastor, or you go to any prophet, or well, to any church, and you discover there are the, that what they are using to operate there is not the name of the Lord alone, and the word of God, and the blood of Jesus. If any other thing is attached to these three things, I tell you now, Satan is the one in charge of that place. Forget about results. As I am talking to us, forget about result because we know that on the last day it is the Lord that will judge us on the last day, and the result will not stand before the judgment seat of God. Result will be over, prophecy will be over, vision will be over, and the word of God will stand. So, any ministry you go, any church you go, any pastor or prophet or any man of God or woman of God that want to pray for you or do anything for you and the person try to introduce another thing that is not the word of God, that is not the name of the Lord and that is not the word of God. Satan is the one controlling that ministry. I don't care to know the, ministry, the miracle that is taking place there. I don't care to know the signs and wonder that is happening there. But I know that whenever you go to a place and you discover that what is happening there, there is another thing taking place there apart from the word of God. And I discover that devil is the one in charge of that place. And we more all must come to a stage that we will look for eternity. We should look for eternal life. Because eternal life is the only thing that matters. is what every one of us is looking for. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will help us. That we will run our race. At the end of our race, at the end of our years on earth, we will see Jesus face to face. I know that why the Lord is talking to us now is because eternity is not something that somebody will make mistake to lose. Any mistake we make, we, we, we will regret it all the days of our life. Just you remember that rich man in the Bible that was begging Abraham to send Lazarus so that he will come and quench his thirst with just a drop of water. But he don't have that opportunity again. It's because of all this that the Lord is bringing this message on your way. Nobody is condemning your church. Nobody is condemning your ministry. Or as I said it, that the word of God is the only thing that will put in place. 
before church, before any preacher, before anything. And anywhere you go, you discover that is any there is another thing attached to the name of the Lord, to the word of God, and to the blood of Jesus. Anyone, any pastor or preacher or prophet that want to pray for you and conduct deliverance for you and decided to introduce another thing apart from the word of God, apart from the name of the Lord, and apart from the blood of Jesus. That place, Satan is the one taking over that place. Satan is the one that controlling that place. But they just put church or put ministry with the name of the Lord there. I pray that the Lord will help us, you that is watching this message, that at the end of your life, you will not miss heaven. At the end of your life, you will not go to hell. After paying tithe, all your tithes in the world, after sowing all the seeds you are sowing, after supporting the gospel and preaching the gospel, after going to motherless baby home, after all your charity works, after your fasting and your prayer and the mountains and desert you visited in the name of the Lord, going to hospital praying for the sick, at the end you die, you still go to hell. God forbid. That is why you are hearing this message. Share this message to everyone so that you will join hands together to save life. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel or to click to the follow button if you are watching me from Facebook. God bless you and the blessings of God be with you. Until the next time, we shall see.